Wind is an important source of renewable energy. But did you know that most of the wind we can use for energy is blowing above deep water? It is estimated that 80% of the world's wind resources are found where the water is over 60 meters, or nearly 200 feet, deep. In the U.S., two-thirds of our wind resources require working in the deep ocean. Off the coast of California, for example, the Pacific Outer Continental Shelf is very narrow. Then, it quickly drops to depths of over 3,000 feet. That's good for wind energy, but not feasible for traditional bottom-fixed wind turbines. Floating offshore wind technology changes that. Using this new technology, we can harness consistent wind speeds in deep coastal waters, providing renewable energy directly to the heavily populated areas where bottom-fixed turbines would be unable to reach the seafloor. A floating wind turbine is a standard offshore wind turbine, but fitted to a floating substructure. This floating wind substructure has three columns. Pontoons connect the columns, enhancing stability and creating buoyancy. The whole unit stays in place with mooring lines, secured to the seabed with suction or piled anchors. The turbine's weight is counteracted with ballast water, the same technique used to keep cargo ships steady. These measures provide stability in the worst foreseeable conditions for each project location, including storms, hurricanes, or typhoons. Floating turbines are connected to the power grid with special dynamic power cables that allow the floating unit to safely move with the waves in all directions. Equinor has become the global leader in floating offshore wind. We developed the world's first floating offshore wind farm, High Wind Scotland, and the world's largest floating wind farm, High Wind Tampon. With decades of experience developing projects in some of the most challenging conditions, Equinor is turning the power of wind into progress for society.